Hey guys, it's Jeebins, and welcome back to Infamous 2. Uh, when I was streaming this, I forgot to do an intro, so that's why I'm doing it now. Because I was muted for a bit, and didn't realize. But, uh, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Dropped out of college and got a job as a bike courier. Mostly just to piss off my parents. I was someone you'd never notice, just a guy delivering packages to folks you'd never know. And then one day, the package found me. Thousands died. Five square blocks, smashed into rubble. And at the center, was me. Alive, but changed. But no one could have seen what was coming. Back then, Empire City was in quarantine. It had gone to hell. Other people with power started showing up, and it was my job to sort through it all, find out who had given me that package and why. Hell, even my best friend turned his back on me to try to get powers of his own. But in the end, I found the man responsible, Kessler. He explained everything through a vision of the future. A beast is coming. A monster only I can defeat, provided that I am strong and ready to face him. A month later, I met Lucy Quo. She somehow knew all about the beast. In fact, she had come to help me prepare. Claimed her friend Dr. Wolf had worked on the Racefear prototype and that he could amplify my powers. All I had to do was go with her down to New Marais. I need those powers. The beast is coming. And I will be ready. Man, I tell you, Cole, that Agent Quo, she doesn't mess around, huh? First bullet out of town? Chick's got some connections. This is gonna be a short-term visit, man. We're just gonna get in. I'm gonna get some new powers. I forgot to come right back. God come damn on, it. man, you deserve to relax. We're going to New Marais. Hey, I need to be back here and ready when it shows up, Zeke. Trust me, Cole. You will be ready when you're done working with Dr. Wolf. Work? Yeah, the audio is off at Easy, Quo. Right. We get there, we're going to be about the three Bs. That's beer, mm -hmm. boobs, and mechanical bolts. Gentlemen, I don't think that you understand the scope of what is going on here. What is going on? Bailey, you don't know it? Also, why isn't it so loud? That should be better. This game definitely got an improvement of, of graphics from the first game. Uh, McGrath, we had a deal. This boat is leaving. Relax. We got time for this. Oh, I have to. Yep, definitely like 2020. Yeah, you, you missed it, but um, in the first game, basically. There's just a quarantine outbreak because of a plague in New York City. I mean, I guess uh, 2020 didn't start in New York City, but there's a plague. And just after the quarantine starts, just like a bunch of shit happens. Actually, before the quarantine happens, there's a bomb that goes off. And then there's a plague. And then there's a lot of other shit. All in the span of like a week. When did this game come out? Uh, when did the second one came out? Because the first one came out, I think, in 2009. In uh, the release date. Uh, 2011. So definitely ahead of its time. Uh, let me pull this up again. Gosh, uh, the sensitivity is so high. 
That guy looks nice. They predicted the future? Man. Yeah, of course. Dude, what is this guy from? Why is he destroying everything? Like, I was warned that about him, but still. Get up, man. Like, why? What, what's his reason? I'm gonna act like I don't know what's going on for uh, the sake of not spoiling it for people because I think the story is really good. He's trying to get the last by his toilet paper. Ow. Still telling me how to aim. But I'm in a cutscene. I also haven't played this game in a few years. What is going on? Okay. Looks like a boss fight. It'd be a shame if I flipped the controls. It's like a tutorial boss. I'm pretty sure if you lose, you still continue. Game over. All done. Good job. Good job team. Hey, good shot, Killed man. the bad guy. The breaking up. Nice work, McGrath. That was impressive. What is this Thor wannabe? Oh yeah, because there's a big Woo! fire monster on, in that man, one Joe. in Ragnarok. I mean, this came out before that, but it predicted the future, so maybe, uh, Thor Ragnarok is, uh, the beast wannabe. Unless you mean coal, because he has lightning powers. The that makes a lot more sense, actually. Broken my powers. It felt like the end. I almost wish it was. That's a scene from the first game. It's like they're literally the same cut. They just decided to use the same thing. The beast had just put itself back together, and now Empire City is dead. Fair. Yeah, because it's called Empire City, not New York City. Our ship ran for it. Flink south. New Marais is um, based off of New Orleans, I think. Distance, whether from respect or fear, I don't know. And in the, the third way, game, know. Seattle is based off of Others Seattle. Busy, acting out their routines as if it was so dumb. Them, right? I don't like that they did that. But I knew better. I should probably not be interrupting the cutscene. I had been given powers to defeat the beast. I was strong. I was ready. I had fought it with everything I had. And it wasn't enough. That needed to change. The next day I went to work. I helped Z create a device to focus my powers. Hell. Why didn't you do that before? Friends like we used to be. Agent Quo gathered intelligence on the beast. Town after town was lost as it traveled down the coast. So have yet to hear evidence that this game is not based off 2020 or directly predicted it. Boat. 
Numeray was in lockdown. Wouldn't let anyone in. We were gonna have to sneak in through the swamp. I don't know if you've ever let someone down, got your ass kicked, or straight up failed. But those are the moments that define us. They push you further than you've ever thought possible and force you to make choices. No matter what the cost. Thanks to the first sitting noise. Okay. Apparently, first sittings have like issues sometimes where they like just don't work for like the first minute of the stream. For me, that's not a problem because no one's there that early. But for some people, it is. Hello, Paul. You know, when you go to talk to Wolf, everything is going to become completely... Zeke! Zeke, catch the engines! What's up? Is it Most just three of, of us on this boat? If we get any close and their artillery will sink us. Why? Well, I guess it's time I go introduce myself. Oh, the, the, the militia. Wait up, man. Here she is. <laughs> and you're sure it's ready? Uh... Why do they bury lawyers under 20 feet of dirt? Why is that? Oh, I'll be damned. Oh. Cool. What is that thing? I call it the amp. Good work, Zeke. Not the lightning rod or any other sort of pun weapon. What's wrong with you? I guess the amp is still a pun. But I think the lightning rod would be better. Is he down there with the good people? I see. Hey, Quo. Does the NSA even know what you're up to with me? I took a leave of absence. Why is that? I mean, you seem pretty by the numbers. The NSA plans to deal with the beast by deploying the military. Wolf has a better plan. You. He invented race spirit technology. You want enough power to defeat the beast? He is your man. Hey, Zeke. Sam's gonna work out just fine. All right. Hey, put a couple of notches on it for me, man. I like how you start out with that. Militia accessories. controls everything going in or out of Numeray. God, how could they let a bunch of hick fascists take over their city? You watch them back all the Saul and have seen lawyer jokes? Do you just really like lawyer movies or shows, I mean? Because you... Daredevil is one of your favorite shows. Why am I so bad at fighting? Hey man, you okay? Sounded rough. I'm fine. Nice. You find them interesting? Cole, I find like them pretty interesting too. If you give it some power. Need swimming. Just don't overcharge it. A fire could blow up the entire village. Yeah, it could. I could take all these guys out at once. Oh yeah, and the women and the children and the pets. Pets are the most important. You can't kill them. What was I, gonna say? I love how it says beat swimming, when if he tried to swim, he would die. I am going to do the good karma, um, because I think Cole's story is better with the good karma. Um, although the, both endings are pretty good. Five ads, two minutes in, after watching, two. I did, uh, lessen the ads. I changed it to two minutes every 40 minutes instead of... Uh, two and a half minutes every 45 minutes. Uh, if it's still super awful, then I'm Cole, gonna change it again. It goes six ads. Uh, this time four of them with 30 seconds. That is so dumb. Thank you for showing some restraint. There's so many ads. Uh, why are those guys just standing there? You know, healing these folks will help win them over. Who did I have to heal? Oh, these guys? Yeah, I'll heal them. Yeah, I like how you start out with a lot of the basic essentials rather than having to unlock them again. If they cared about the creators, they would give you at least 90% of ad revenue. 
so They don't, bad. though, is the thing. They don't even give that much. They don't give, uh, even 50-50 of the, um, rest of the revenue. They give, like, something close to 30, I think? I don't know. It, it's not great. Did they say this town makes no kind of sense? Well, you know, that's... Are you saying they just care about money nowadays? Yeah. If they expect you to have three minutes of ads per hour for 50% of the revenue, then they don't care about um, the streamers. Can I throw a grenade? I can't throw a grenade. He exploded. You saw that, right? I attacked the guy and he just exploded after hitting the ground. Oh. Okay then. I can't climb up that. Where are you? Did you go? You ever punch someone and then they punch someone so hard they explode? Yeah, apparently. Uh, I, uh, oh, you got to take one, okay. Oh no, he didn't explode, he just, I think that the rocket launcher shot, um, shortly after I attacked him. There's a lot less cover in this game. There's like cover everywhere in the first game. Although this is like the first mission, so... Are you really that dumb to hold a rocket launcher that close to me? It's just like the people in Fallen Order, man. Cole, move! Move! What happens when you cross the Godfather as a lawyer? Punch the nun once and that happens? Man, I wish I punched the nun. Oh. Well, that's a bad guy. He's shooting rockets at me, and I get bad karma for attacking him. Yeah, this game is a little weird like that. They, uh, sometimes give you bad karma for attacking someone that's far enough away that they think they're an NPC. It's fun you should try it sometime. Just bam! Okay. Uh, how am I meant to get over there? I'm right, not meant to get over there. Oh, I see. I'm gonna die. Oh, you die instantly into going into water. In the first game, you had like a little bit of time before you would die. Oh, oh, no. You know what? Yeah, that was well, that's my The motor's out of commission. More ads? More you got more ads? That should not be happening. Okay, let us know when Like that's not even on me, that's like Twitch is doing something wrong. If they gave you ads and then immediately gave you more ads, that's not right. They shouldn't, th that's not meant to be happening. Cause it's only 20 minutes in the stream. You got three more ads as well? What the fuck, Twitch? Where's my money? Why are you giving people ads without giving me more money for it? Actually, I don't know if they didn't give me money for that one, but I didn't know it about that one. It's meant to be every 40 minutes and we're only like 20 minutes in the stream. And there's already been two ad breaks. I demand to speak to the manager, yeah. That's happened to me before though, actually, now that I think about it. And I don't really know why. Maybe it just happens sometimes, which is really stupid, if Twitch is just like, yeah, we'll just run an ad now. Friends, let's put something to rest right now. I created the militia. Not for me, but for you. What? No way. For your protection. You've had to make sacrifices in recent weeks. You've had to give up certain 
liberties. But it was only to provide security for you and your families. Now, isn't that worth any sacrifice? What are you being you know, protected you from, confused. you ask? Freaks! We can't understand. Abominations. They exist, my friends. They are already among us. And they represent the greatest threat we have ever known. When I saw the danger to our fair city, I... Alright, Give one more lawyer joke? Alright. Don't let him in town! The hell happened to these people? I had that one over there by in fire. Did I have precision shot yet? No. Did he die? What is the difference between a vacuum cleaner and a lawyer on a motorcycle? What is the difference? Eight, he's, he's dead. Right, there's, there's no recovery from that one. Vacuum has a dead bag inside. I would say that these puns are should get out of here, but my title is a pun, so I'm gonna die. I'm not really sure why that happened like that. He just decided that he didn't want to climb anymore. Which, you know, happens to the best of us. We just start climbing up a pole, and then we're like, I'd rather not. And then we fall to our deaths. That doesn't happen to you guys? Oh gosh. Uh, hold on. You can do one, but obviously it's your channel, but you recommend for me to, to replace the save the game award with a different one. Most games have an automatic save feature nowadays, and I would find myself wanting to use points on it. Yeah, I, I mean, I could just get a different one. I could keep it and then just add more. Um, I'm not sure what I would replace it with. Like this, like a lot of games have auto saves, but um, like I have that there because Kingdom Hearts doesn't, and that was a big game on my channel when I added it. It still kind of is a big game on my channel, but like it was one of the only things I played. Also, the reason I'm playing this today is honestly, I ran out of footage that wasn't Kingdom Hearts or Doom. Yeah, just making sure they're dead. I'm a good guy, by the way. I love how in this game you get good karma for killing the bad guys, right? If you're a good guy. But you also get bad karma for killing them if you're a bad guy. So it's like, it's only bad if you feel like it is. You know? Okay, guys. Clear to dock. Nice. We will come to you and then head up for one I'll teach him to be dead. My point of view is civilians are evil. Yeah. I mean, those guys are like, uh, armed militia, so... Militia sure has changed this town. It ain't nothing like it used to be. Ah, remember? Apparently I'm remembering now. Yeah. Yeah, I remember numerous. He looks different. He does look a bit different. I came here four years ago. I think it's just a graphics the upgrade. After the flood, half the buildings were abandoned. It was a haven for urban exploration. Hell, even Zeke manned up and gave it a try. Oh, it was great. See, in any other city, you start to climb. You got maybe ten minutes before the cops show up. But here, well, police had their hands full with other things. The place was lawless. It was raunchy, and except for the hangovers, it was goddamn heaven. But not anymore. 
Now these redneck assholes strut up and down the street, eyeballing everybody, looking for deviants to punish. Tension's what? thick. Song, I mean, you are ready to explode. Somewhere in this gorgeous corpse of a town is the key to amping up my powers. These pricks, they're gonna try to get in my way, try to kill me to keep their town pure. I say bring it. Who made this game? This is uh, Sucker Punch. Too bad they're not making games these days. Well, at least I think they're not making any. I don't know if they're not making any. Uh, you expecting a little action? Lish is gonna be on guard after that stunt you pulled in the swamp. I know, I'd be pissed. <laughs> Why didn't you blow up those oil tanks in that camp? Would have made getting through a lot easier. But you told me not to. I'm about to start torturing families just to make my life a little easier. Good. Is that an That's indie game company? Here. I don't you made the right choice. think so. I'm impressed. You acted like a professional. It's not one of the biggest companies. Is a song hey, from Santa Claus to coming to town. town. Yeah. Good. Very good. Unfortunately, I have a bit of bad. I think they were bought out, actually, now that I think about it. Yes, but the malicious searched my lab this morning and discovered the blast core I'd been hiding. Okay, stay in your lab. We'll swing by the West Lookout and see if we can get it back. What we did? I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, you know what I like about this game is it, like, it explains that Cole wasn't always... Uh, he didn't get his ability to climb up buildings from his powers, so he just already could do that. I don't think you should be admitting that you're criminal so Damn. Damn. Hit him with the grenades. That's right, sucker. You just shot that guy in the head. Oh, I got it. So you said you don't like dead person games, but this one looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think, um, what I really like about this game is its story, and, like, it was also huh. one of the first... The way? Shut up, Quill, I'm talking. Uh, it was one of the first choice-based games that I ever played, and I just, like, like those as a concept, so... Nice. The West Lookout's just up ahead. Are you sure about that? Let's go. Is see, you have to see a choice. What are you talking about? Uh, earlier, I could have blown up the village, and I decided I didn't want to blow up the village. That was my first choice of the game. The choices aren't like super often. Listen, Wolf, I'm on my way. They're not good. I'll find it. Go help Wolf. There we go. Why didn't I blow up the village? There's probably an orphanage there. Oh, you know, I forgot about the orphanages. But you're right. I should have. Can this guy die? Also, why can I not shoot him from far away? Oh yeah, I see the bolts hitting him. He's a sign here. I'm gonna climb up there. Oh, no. It's the electric man! Open fire! The electric man? What a terrible name. Yeah, so I my camera is in the way of the karma meter as well as my um, electricity meter. So if uh, if, even, if you're still here, the karma meter, the blue side is the good side and the orange side is the villain side. Um, and it's I'm on the mid side, so it's blue. 
Also, I like how they changed. This is the just like a quality of life thing. Is that they changed the like sensing electricity button to be the same as the draining electricity button because it was really inconvenient for them. I don't know if that was my fault. He just fell. Like I don't think I influenced that at all. Give me a. How did you survive? Do you have a keyboard again, man? Oh, yeah, I'm not giving that. Oh, those are the blast shards. Somebody! Help! I know Wolf's in trouble, but you got time for this, right? notice when you treat them with respect like that. I didn't let someone die, so I'm a good person. So that's the only quality you need to have to be a good person is you just don't let them die. Whoa, Wolf. Pretty sure I found it. Still at the lab? The cross. The shards there. Well, why can't you do anything right? But also get a baton to mount so that it cancels out. You get a baton to beat people up with? Nice. I love how they're just like, yeah, we got a bunch of blast shards over here for you to use and like power up with because we know that helps you. Just like come over to the lab. And then just like immediately get scattered before you can even get a chance to go over there. T-shirt baton? Oh, okay. So you're getting a wand, I see. Die! Haha! Uh -huh. Climbing! Am I still good for Sunday? Yeah, I think so. If I, if it changes, it'd probably change, like, Saturday. I can't go anywhere for the next two weeks anyway. My God, you look just the same. Same as who? Kessler, the man who gave you your powers. I know who Kessler is. Does like nobody know that they're the same at the person at this point? We were friends. He told me all about his plans for you and the beast. Well, then you know I failed. I couldn't Yo, stop Kessler, it. Kessler is the bad guy from the first game. Yes, and, and, and it won't stop it unless you expand your abilities. you powerful enough to use this. No. This is what we call in the business a twist. I call it the RFI. Yeah. Think of it as an empty race sphere. So instead of giving powers, it takes them away. Precisely. With that device, you can combat the beast. Subtract his ability. Yeah, but wouldn't it take away my powers too? Yeah. What about? Don't drop this. it. Oh, blast scores. They power the RFI. They're batteries for the same energy that fuels all genetic mutation. Oh, so it mutants. It, okay. And its energy will release into the nearest conduit. Oh, so this is going to make me strong. Conduits are just mutants. Okay. Oh, yes, and that's just the first. <laughs> Together we will defeat the beast. Oh, enough of the pep talk, Wolf. Let's You're almost done with the stand again? Nice. <laughs>
You know that book? It's pretty good from what I've read or listened to. That'll do it for today's video of Infamous. If you enjoyed it, you can check out the full playlist of the first game on my channel. And as well as um, on your left, you'll see the uh, recommended video uh, for YouTube things you'll like. And on the right, there'll be the full playlist. If you're watching this when it comes out, then there'll be just this video in there because it's the first one of the series. And um, you can check out the Twitch, and I'll see you guys next time.